Welcome to Informatica Cloud Support Videos. Today in this video we will be looking at how to create horizontal expression macro using Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Before we proceed further, we need to understand what an expression macro is. It is a feature available in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer to create repetitive or complex expressions. There are three kinds of expression macro available. Vertical expression macro, horizontal expression macro, and hybrid expression macro. Horizontal expression macro includes incoming fields or set of constants and it must include a horizontal expansion function. The steps to create horizontal expression macro are to create an input macro field then create an output field which consists of horizontal expansion function then create a mapping configuration task which would eventually expand the horizontal expansion function during runtime. Now let's get on to a demo part. In this demo, we will be trying to achieve or create horizontal expression macro. Let's go on to the Informatica Cloud UI. Enter your user ID password to login. Then go to Design Mappings tab. Click on New Mappings in order to create one. I'll try to give a mapping name called as M underscore horizontal macro demo. There's a transformation palette here. Try to drag and drop source and target transformations and also expression. Let's configure the source. I'm going to use a flat file source. So I'll choose a flat file connection. I have a pre-configured flat file with data called as macro.csv. This file consists of product related data. Each and every row consists of a product entity data values and each product has at least three models and price tier for these three models. The goal is to see to it that we use horizontal expression macro and create an average of it and then insert it to the target. Let me link the source to the expression. Let's rename the name of the transformation to expression horizontal macro. I'm going to create an input macro field and an output field. To start with, let me create an input macro field. Name it as price. As you see, this would be created as an expression. I'll try to configure the expression for the input macro field and I would like to choose the set of fields for which it applies. I can do it either by choosing named fields or having fields by text or pattern or just like that have all the incoming fields or I can use a constant as well. In this case I'll be using fields by text or pattern and select fields by prefix and use price as the prefix. Click OK. Now try to create an output field called as price average with data type integer. Click OK. Click on configure to configure the output field expression Click on functions, scroll down and you'll see the horizontal expansion functions available. In this case, we'll be using operation sum function. When you click on it, you'll see the syntax has come wherein it specifies numeric expression. It is this value you might need to replace with. In this case, I'll be trying to use 
an expression first to convert the incoming price field and then would use the whole expression be divided by 3 since we have 3 models for a given product and 3 price tiers. We'll click OK. At runtime, this operation sum would be expanded and would be concatenated. Let me go ahead and link the expression to the target. In target, again I am going to choose another flat file. The target is macro target horizontal. Let's click on field mapping to see what are the available fields in input and in the target. Let me try to do auto match. It has almost mapped all the fields except for the price average. Let's map the price average to the corresponding target field. Now that the mapping is done, let me do a save and continue. The mapping is valid. Let me go ahead and create a mapping configuration task out of it. Let me choose a runtime environment. Now that I had given an appropriate task name and a description. Let me click on next. There is no other expression variable to get expanded in mapping configuration task for a horizontal macro. Hence, we directly go to the schedule tab. Let me go ahead, save and run the task. The task has completed successfully. Let's look at the target. You could see the target, the price average is being populated appropriately. With this, we had been able to successfully create horizontal expression macro in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Thanks for watching this video. We would like to hear from you and get feedback. You can email us your feedback to supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com infasupport.